trial by fire. Just kind of the way I've been thinking lately, because right now we are in the middle, in America, of wondering what's going to happen. There is a big trial that just came to a conclusion in the fact of all of the conversations and protestations and everything else, and now we await the jury's verdict. And then that jury's verdict could lead to some very, very bad stuff. And so everybody's on the edge and everybody's afraid that uh, it truly might be not only the trial, it might be truly a trial by fire that we have to go through and we have to endure. Well, that got me to thinking about a number of things. And so I've been very negligent in my time with you, but perhaps I have something that might be helpful to offer to you today. So this is the Creator Entrepreneur Podcast, and it begins right now. As one of my friends uh, reminded me that I had said that, you know what, just because the, the new president replaced the old president, that things will be new and better, and I had said, no, they probably won't. And he reminded me that uh, I uh, got that right. Here we are, almost 100 days past the new president and the leadership class in America, and things aren't better. In fact, some things are worse. Some things might be better. But remember, remember, political solutions are never real solutions. Most of our problems have other origins and other causes, and the politics and the people who do the politics will not be able to solve them. I think you know that, but sometimes we forget that. Well, right now we're going through a a whole lot of things here, and let me uh, first of all say the mea culpa, but uh, perhaps you didn't miss me. Oftentimes what I say that my job is to be here to help people tell their story and to help them do the new modern media. Now let me be very clear, there are three industries that are going to thrive going forward. First of all, this very one that I'm involved in, and you should be, which is the podcasting business. The podcasting business will be a creative communication platform and program that will be a billion-dollar industry. And you're going to have to learn how to use it and how to use it and do it well. Because of the COVID fascination with Zoom, And that's not something we wanted to do, and it's not something we did very well, but we did learn that perhaps if you do it right and do it seriously, and we're not talking about children here, children do not learn well online. For the most part, they need a person and a presence and a caring person right there with them, instructing them, guiding them, um, helping them to learn and helping them to behave and helping them to care for others. And they need to learn things that are helpful and useful and practical as well as engaging and useful. And it is to be learning, not indoctrination. So the second business that is going to grow is online learning. Not necessarily online education, but many, many people are going to find that they can learn, not by going to a high-priced university, which may be full of indoctrination rather than instruction and education, but they can learn what they need to know online. The third thing that's going to happen is people are more and more going to find a way to hybrid their work in which they will not need to be at the office, but the office might be there, the headquarters might be there, but in effect people are going to have the opportunity and the ability to uh, do what we did, work from home, work at the office, work 
around the world. And the business that is going to prosper, which will be the one that will help them learn how to do that better. Right now, uh, I've been told that real estate prices in many of the major cities, particularly in the office and retail rental space, those things are, are really in trouble as a result of the fact that people are now discovering we don't have to go to the office and we don't have to go to the store. And that's going to lead to a whole lot of changes in how we do business. And that's going to destroy a number of businesses. But it's also going to give the opportunity for other creator entrepreneurs. People of deep creativity who are ready to learn to do things differently. And I believe that those of us who have a little bit of inspiration and inspiritedness from the very presence of the spirit force of the living God, we just might have an advantage. We just might have the ability to do some of those things better because in the words of the old Hebrew prophets, we understand the times and we know better what to do. So I'm going to just challenge you to say, you know what, there's a very good possibility that my opportunity will lie, as we're saying right now, in the podcasting business, certainly in the online learning business, and of course, in a way to help people do the things they need to do in a better way, in a more effective and efficient way, using the technology that abounds. Now, uh, as one of my friends who is a plumber says, he said, yeah, I even have to know, and he's already pointed out to me, he said, "Uh, I have to call, I have to go to the pipes, (laughs) I have to go to the plates. But what I have also discovered, that because plumbing is such a good occupation, and obviously it's one that's needed, there will be, first of all, a lot of people who are going to compete with me to do that. Now the problem is that our schools are not teaching young men and women to be tradesmen. And I'm so grateful for the fact that many young men and women will now know and learn that they don't have to go and spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to go to college. They don't have to do that. It is not the magic to uh, every door. Learning how to make things, create things, fix things, and present those kind of services to people can certainly be a lucrative, maybe even more than lucrative, line of work and service. And you can learn to do that. And then find ways to be more creative in the things of your spirit, your mind, your emotions. You may truly be what Jesus was, a really good handy man. You know how to work with your hands but you also have the creative spirit to create learning and imagination and ethos that allows people to become fully human. You see, God wants us not just to be saved. God wants us to be fully alive. And that uh, life doesn't begin in heaven. Life is right now. And part of what we're all about is is discovering how we can do that better. So, in this 10 minutes, would you just think about that for a while? And then uh, I'll be back with just a few minutes of a challenge and an opportunity, and I look forward to hearing from you.
as I said, I've been negligent in the sense that uh, I uh, I haven't been on the air for almost over a week now. But that's not quite true. I haven't had the time and the opportunity to do my own radio program because I have been helping many others start theirs. In the last week, we've started three new podcasts for people who now know that their business and their life and their work can go and grow and more and more people can be influenced, uh, more and more people can be impacted, and their income will grow if they learn the art of effective online radio broadcasting, podcasting. And you need to know how to do it, so let me just simply challenge you we have the way to help you do what I'm doing and to do it in your school, your church, your ministry, your business. This will be the new billion-dollar reality. Audio programming. Men, women telling stories, sharing wisdom, and sharing opportunities that uh, are fruitful and faithful and profitable and practical and useful with one another. I literally learned how to do a car repair. How did I do that? I learned how to repair my own car for one thing, by watching somebody who put an online video on. And uh, I was so impressed, I uh, dropped a little tip in his uh, tip jar on the video. It was very helpful, very useful. A lot of that will be the world we live in. So we'd like to encourage you right now. First of all, is uh, raise your hand and say, Stan, I've got some stories to tell. I'd like to be on the Creator Entrepreneur. By the way, we have uh, already two or three people who've already signed up and say, we want to be on the program, and they will be. And I want you to raise your hand and say, Stan, I've got some stories to tell and some wisdom to share. Stories to tell and wisdom to share. And I'd like to share them with... Uh, you and with anybody else and you have that opportunity so i'm going to encourage you to do just that and there are also things about the way life is going to be in the post-covid realities and we hopefully will come together again in the organizations of the spirit, organizations of uh, the uh, communities we live in, organizations that are helping our children. And boy, do we need to help our children so that we can together create. See, we're called to be creators, not just doers, not just beers. We're called to be prayers and creators. We're called to create and fulfill projects of possibilities so that people, you and I, can live better, to experience God's grace and power in more and powerful ways. As someone pointed out to me, God's greatest demonstration of power is His grace and mercy. Use it, learn about it, experience it, and share it with others, and you would not believe the power in your life. So there we go. Thank you very, very much. I would be grateful if you would uh, raise your hand and uh, reach out to uh, me at The Creator Entrepreneur. Just stanhousted at gmail.com. stanhousted at gmail.com. That will start a conversation, which will start a relation, which will start a way to commit to helping one another become all we can be, to live life at its very best, and to experience it perhaps not only right now, but for all eternity. Best in blessings, I promise we're going to do better. We're going to be in touch on a more regular and hopefully even better basis going forward. All the best in blessings. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.